This is a screencast video for the JottyQ application. JottyQ works with the jotty.org malware scanning site, which lets you upload files and have them scanned using multiple antivirus engines. It's similar to the VirusTotal website, and uh, it's actually an extremely useful resource for scanning suspicious files using multiple engines. So you can uh, drag and drop files into the JottyQ window or you can choose to install the optional right click context menu extension and let's just um, drop in a few files here and I'll drop in a antivirus testing file and um, let's see how we do. Okay here's the main window interface we can see the files I've got queued I'm gonna activate the processing queue and you can see uh, JottyQ has now started running through the queue. Some files were uploaded and already have reports. Some have been delayed because of uh, the site is under some load and we don't want to overwhelm it. You can see for um, file entries that were scanned, we've got the result here and then an icon which gives us a quick overview of the results. You can see the check mark means if we click it we can see the results. The check mark means no, none of the antivirus engines supported found anything to be worried about. The green bug means something was found. We can see it says detections too. And um, this is a file that I know has false positives. In fact here we see Sophos and this other one have reported a virus incorrectly. There is no virus in that file. And this is exactly why sites like Jotty or Jody and VirusTotal are so useful. If you're running an antivirus engine and they report they've discovered something, the first thing you should do is upload the file to uh, Jody or VirusTotal or one of these sites and see if all of the antivirus programs are in agreement. Uh, if they're not, it mean it probably means that your antivirus program has jumped the gun and given you a false positive and uh, you shouldn't panic and should look around. Okay, the ICAR test file is a good test of antivirus engines. It's a harmless file, but it's one that all antivirus engines should detect. You can see we've got a red bug, meaning something probably is wrong with this file. Lots of detections, and when we click it, we can go see that almost all of the antivirus engines picked it up. Two at the end, of Avast and Quick Heal didn't, that's probably because it's a zip file and they must not be configured to look in zip files. We could double check that by um, actually uploading the uh, ICAR unzipped, but let's not worry about that. So we see the results of all of our files here. This one's clean. This one has two reports. Okay, what else can we do? We've got some general options for the program that let you control how it behaves. There are a couple of really useful features like we can go quickly to the website and see the results on the Jotty website um, for a more detailed report. This is what it would look like if you manually uploaded the file. Let's just select all and delete. We've also got this nice feature to add all the running processes um, which would run uh, Jotty on all of the processes running in memory. Let's pause this queue for a second to just look at um, the title bar which is telling us that we've really queued up too many files. Um, and this is a good time to remind you that these online multi-engine virus scanners like Jotty and VirusTotal are not meant for scanning your entire computer. You have a uh, installed antivirus you should be using for that which doesn't have to go on the web and upload each file. You would only use a program like JottyQ and a website like Jotty for scanning a suspicious file, one that your antivirus program has already reported might be dangerous. It's a, a second opinion check on your files. And um, so there you have JottyQ, very useful program, very, very polished, very nicely done. And um, there you have it, Jody Q.